So what's the best utility locating method to find underground pipes and cables? If you're needing to work out where a utility is buried and you've been wondering what is the best way to locate utilities, then this video is for you. Today, we're going to check out the most common methods of locating utilities to determine which one is the best. The problem is, it's actually quite difficult to say. What is the best? As different situations will call for different locating methods. Is the pipe made of metal? Or is it a non-metallic material such as plastic, concrete or nylon? Does the service have a trace wire? Is it even accessible? Is the utility buried in a sandy environment? Or is it out in the Western Sydney heartland where it's typically thick clay? Add to that, do the installers of these utilities typically bury the pipes in sand bedding or backfill? All these various questions and conditions play a part in answering the question. As much as I like to choose just one, we need to know a little backstory because in some rare cases, we could recommend to straight up start digging and exposing using non-destructive digging methods. As not all locating methods have the same effectiveness and the confidence level and accuracy might not all be the same. The most common methods for locating utilities and marking existing underground lines includes ground penetrating radar, electromagnetic induction, inductive ring clamp, direct connect, passive for your power and radio signals, and non-destructive digging. The answer? If I was going to choose the best utility locating method, in my opinion, the best method would be direct connection. Direct connect offers options to manipulate the target signal in varying conditions. It's not uncommon to get difficult to locate utilities, and you might need to work out the best solution to get the job done. The advantages with direct connection is you're able to troubleshoot out in the field a lot more than the other methods. You have the option to change your earth or grounding placement, you can move your transmitter, you can connect to a far end earth and ground to the other end of the pipe, and you can direct connect from a different location or source to trace it back. All these options allow you to have greater confidence in detecting the target line by completing all your checks and balances, which is not always possible using any other electromagnetic locating method. It's also quite quick out in the field to determine problems, but also to rectify these and trace out the signal once we're good to go. The induction clamp is another great active locating method, but there are limitations that don't give you that flexibility that direct connection allows. The one advantage the induction clamp has over direct connecting is you can induce the current into energized cables, such as electricity cables, and also those that want to be protected, such as the copper communication cables. We will cover all this in another video to follow. It's important to know that when conducting a utility locating survey, just because I feel direct connection is the best locating method, it doesn't mean I'm not going to try to utilize all the available methods to me. As I mentioned before, there are energized cables. You cannot directly connect or touch these. And likewise with communication cables. There could be abandoned cables and services on the ground that you cannot access and get to. If you can't access the service, you can't really apply a signal with direct connect locating method, except by intentionally sending bleed signal throughout the area while on a higher frequency, that is. Because of this, we're going to try everything to keep your site safe, so you can continue to dig with peace of mind that you know where everything is buried before you start. If I was going to give one tip out there to the viewers to improve their locating and direct connection setup is, and you probably already know it, it would be to always sweep around your connection point before taking off and tracing a signal. You want to be sure you are tracing the right signal before you get too far away. So to wrap up what we've talked about today, direct connection is the best utility locating method. Although I wouldn't go to site without completing all the other available locating methods possible. Direct connection gives you greater flexibility, although it's not without its limitations. That's why you need to use every tool available to get the job done. Completing all locating methods, including electromagnetic, ground penetrating radar, non-destructive digging, utility surveying, data capturing, will all lead to safer and efficient site when it comes to your excavation projects. So what do you think the best utility locating method out there? Let us know in the comments below. Have I missed something? Or did you miss out on my singing this time? We'd love to hear your feedback. If you've been liking what we've been putting out, Hit that subscribe button below as we continue to release videos weekly and we'll be honored to have you part of our journey. If you've enjoyed what you've watched on this video, you might be interested to see what's coming up next.